Welcome students. This tutorial is for the student who are pursuing with the informatics practices in class 11 or for those who want to learn SQL commands. Now I have installed my SQL to my system and this is how it will start. Now first I have seen how many databases are already existing in this SQL server. So the command for the same is show databases followed by semicolon it will show you the databases it contains now after that i have created a new database with the help of create database and the name of the database command so create database and the name of your database my database name is school okay followed by semicolon it will create the database with the name school after that if you want to create the tables in this database you need to change the database you have to use the command use and the name of the database so i'm going to use the database school that's why i have written this command followed by semicolon and now for creating the table command is create after this you will give the columns so start with the rounded bracket see if you press enter it won't execute the command, it won't terminate the command or it won't end the command. The command in SQL is ended or terminated with the help of semicolon only. Alright, so let's say I want to create the column as row number. Do not give any space in the column name, otherwise it will give you the error. Now, after giving the name of the column, you need to define the data type. Now in row number, I'm going to store integer. So, I'll say integer. And the length of the row number could be 2. So I simply say 2. And if you want it to create a primary key, you will define primary key over here. Now one more thing uh, to know over here is that SQL is not, SQL is not case sensitive. It means either you write in caps lock or small letters, it doesn't affect. Okay. Now I have defined my first column. I want to define my second column, so I'll separate the second column with the help of a comma. Press the enter key, it's better to write the next column in the next line. Alright, after that I'll write name. Now the name of the student could change. The length of each student is going to be different. So the data type is going to be where care. Okay, where care and let's say the maximum number of characters could be 25. It depends on your requirement so you can change that always now i want to add a column constant over here not null not null means the user has to enter a value over here it cannot be left empty over here i want to give date of birth date of birth uh, so let's see date of birth and the data type is going to be date comma and i want contact number let's say so contact now contact number again integer and if i want to store the mobile number for me it's not more than 10 so i'll define integer 10 right and now i want to end this so use the rounded bracket followed by semicolon and press the enter key your table is created now to see the structure of the table or to see the column in the table, you can simply write describe and the name of the table. So my uh, table name is student. It will show you the number of columns, the fields, the data type, whether it is having null values or not. Now you can see roll number I have assigned as primary key. So primary key means it will be having unique values as well as no null values will be entertained. All right. Mm, so I have one, two, three, four columns over here, right? So this is how you can view the structure of the table. Now, after in creating the table, you need to insert the records in the table. For that, we have insert into table name, bracket, columns, values, and the values. Now for inserting the rows in the table, you write insert into the name of the table and the columns. So the columns should be same, whatever you have written. Then close the bracket for the columns, values and start with the bracket and enter the values. Now I have entered roll number 1, 
the name of the student is Alan. Now, because name is alphabetical value, so it should be in single quotes. Date, uh, date of birth I haven't entered, then contact number, followed by semicolon, and press enter key. So, this is how you can enter the record. Now, I want to see how many records I have entered. So, the command is select asterisk from the name of the table, which is student, right? Followed by semicolon. And this is how it will show you the records in your table. All right. So, I hope this much is clear to you. In case you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you. Keep tuning for coming commands and coming tutorials. Thank you so much.